hold the show up. Amen. Praise the Lord. And it, it praise the Lord. And if we look deep enough, we'll see ourselves. Amen. You'll see whether you're going on or not going on. But amen. Everybody wants to praise the Lord uh, uh, a way that's not right. Amen. Folks is going in their own way today. Praise the Lord. Amen. They're going in their own way. Not in a way that the Lord said go. Amen. The Lord didn't tell us to do what folk is doing now. Well, amen. No, he didn't. Praise the Lord. They don't want, they don't want sanctified and holy. Praise the Lord. And even some of them that were once sanctified and holy done pulled it off. Well, amen. They done pulled it off. They done got out of it. Amen. They rather be, praise the Lord, they see, amen, coming along. They wanted to go along with the folk that had, uh, uh, had something. Oh, well, amen. They didn't want to be associated with somebody that didn't have something. There's a lot of us like that now. We want things. We want things so much till we lead church for it. We don't want to be associated with it. Well, amen. See, I, let me, I'm telling you the truth this morning. There was a time when people didn't have much. And there was a time when folk did have something, brother. A lot of time, amen, a lot of them folk in the world had just as much as somebody in the church. It's always been that way. They let you know that God haven't changed. Because he said he'll reign on the unjust as well as the just. So if you look out and see sinners with things, then know that God is still good. Amen. And church people. But you know what? People try to put us on the same plane as with sinner folk. We're not on the same level with folk. It don't make no difference how much the world got. It don't mean nothing. Because when you say, brother, this is what they taught. You got more than what he got. And if you keep living for the Lord, God will bless you after a while. Amen. In this life, you'll, you'll catch up with that individual. But you got to live like the Lord say. Well, amen. There's so many people on. Brother, they're afraid. And, amen. They get saved and they're scared. They're going to well, you know, I ain't going to have this. And well, I'm not. So they'll run off over there somewhere where ain't nobody teaching them. Well, amen. Well, amen. A lot of folks find out they got to pull a process off. Well, hallelujah today. Got to take my conk off. That's what they call it when I was growing up, conk. Processing conk. Well, amen. Got to pull it off. That's the first thing they're going to tell you, baby. I got to go. You can't run for the Lord with that. See, amen. It ain't like if you got good hair. If you got good hair, then praise the Lord. Ain't nothing you, ain't nothing you can do about it. You know what I'm saying. Some folks got hair, that wave and stuff, lay down, they get up, it's laying down, they go to bed, it's laying down. They ain't got to worry about brushing a little bit, put a little water on it, and do this here, and they can go. Well, amen. There's a lot of us that's like that. Praise the Lord. God just bless people that way sometimes. That makes the difference, don't it? But, brother, we live in a dead time now. Folks just don't, don't care nothing about being sanctified. They don't care nothing about being holy because guess what? Them folk that once was, they not no more. You cannot, praise the Lord, backslide and still be saved. Well, amen. You can't backslide from the Lord and still say, I got him. When you're doing things that the Lord said don't do, then you're disobeying. Isn't that right? Don't let things in the world catch a hold of you. Sometimes your children and your husband can be weights. You gotta learn, you gotta learn how to float like a buoy. How many know what a buoy is? It's the markers they put out in the water. They'll sit out there and they'll just sit there. And they just float. It's a marker for a purpose. Amen. They call it a buoy. That's what you need to do. When the things get deep, you need to float just like one of them. When it get too deep, you float. 
Well, amen. Don't let it pull you down. You're not supposed to let that stuff pull you down. I don't care how bad children get. Children can get bad sometimes, can't they? Well, amen. They can get bad. Children get bad. And some of them is bad. But don't let that pull you down. Don't let that pull you down. Because I'm going to tell you, there's a dead time coming. See, God want us to be stronger. Than, huh? God want us to be stronger. He want us to be able to endure and go through. He want us to be able to endure what our children. Sometimes things they get involved in. They catch us up in it. It's really bad today. Now children get caught up in stuff today, brother. It's rough. Well, amen. It really gets hard for parents. But, but amen, it don't make no difference. Through it all, the Lord is able to bring you out. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. All things work together for good to them that love the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Believe me, God going to put a stop to all of that. But you got to be in a place. Huh? You got to be in a place to accept whatever comes. Not let whatever that is disturb what God has put you. Isn't that right? Amen. That's the reason why, praise the Lord, we need to be, amen, deep in the Lord. And we need to grow in the Lord. Amen. You have to abound in his grace. Praise the Lord. You have to grow from one height to another. Because you don't know, amen. We are living in times when it's uncertain. And you can see it's the evil day we in. It's an evil, wicked day. Amen. When people is calling good evil and evil good. People say, honey, it's, it's good to go out on the beach half naked. Well, amen. It's good to go out and, and, and soak up the rays. It's good to get on out there. And honey, they doing everything now. But you see, they'll talk about you because you go to church. But that's all right if they go out there and bump their head and, and run into one another and, tr and walk on one another. Praise the Lord. And, and, and get hot and fall out in the heat trying to listen to some rock and roll singer. Well, all of that is all right if, when they want to do it. Honey, they throw up and all this kind of stuff. Get out there and start throwing up and get a heat stroke. Amen. And pass out and all this kind of stuff. Then you come to church serving God, lifting your hand. They want to criticize. Praise the Lord. But it's all right if they go out there and fall out in the hot sun with some rock and roll singer. Well, amen. We, do, we know what we're doing. Uh -huh. The world don't know what they're doing. They it's all right for them to do all that. Thank you, Lord. 12P, they'll go out there and say, honey, a hundred folk fell out in the heat today uh -huh. listening to so-and-so and so-and-so. They was overcome by heat. Yeah, yeah praise God. Well, amen. amen. And we ain't supposed to think nothing about that. No, we ain't supposed to think nothing about that. But you come to church, honey, why y'all go to church? Uh-huh. Why y'all serve the Lord? Y'all, y'all, I just don't agree with what y'all doing. Uh -huh. But all the time they're out there passing out, uh -huh. all that energy running into one another. Yeah. Well, amen. Getting drunk and passing out, falling all out over one another, and some of them even get killed out there. That's right. That's right. And we sit here and let it. I'm gonna tell you something. They're not gonna walk on me. I'm gonna tell the truth. Uh -huh. They ain't walking on me. No, Praise the Lord. I'm going to tell you, God, the Holy Ghost in me like a pit bull, brother. I'm going to grab a hold of you, and I ain't going to let go. Yeah. I'm going to grab a hold, and I ain't letting go. Yeah. You ain't been had until the Holy Ghost get on you. That's right. That's right. Well, amen. I'm just telling you like it is. I ain't running from it. I ain't backing away. I'm going to tell the truth. People need to get right with God. They ain't right no more. They know they're not right. They know they didn't used to dye their hair and cut their hair and fry their hair and got wigs on and, and, and bun buns and all this kind of stuff. And they sit up in God's house, want to wear it, and justify themselves. Ain't no need nobody trying to justify themselves no more. They need to repent. They need to get right with God. They need to say amen. Isn't that right? They need to get right with God. Both need to repent and get saved all over again. Something wrong 
in the church house. Something wrong today. I don't care what nobody tell me. We're in the end time. Repent. Ain't nobody telling them nothing. That's what's wrong. They don't want to hear repent. Well, amen. They don't want to hear that. All they satisfied with is frying chicken, eating fish, and going out to dinner. Well, amen. That's all they want to do is sit around and socialize. Well, amen. You get a whole bunch of folk when you say, honey, we got a free dinner over here. Here they is. Everybody show up. Everybody show up. They don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear the gospel. When the dinner's over, they gone. But long as they cooking pies and frying fish and eating chicken and doing all that kind of stuff, and eating potato salad, brother, they show up. That's because it's all folk want is free meal. They don't want the word no more. They're not telling the truth no more. Oh, they may have people on here where that brother, they don't need nobody. They may as well say it just like it is. Amen by self. People don't, they don't want to tell the truth no more. They don't want to hear the gospel no more. Everybody sitting on the couch, sitting up in a chair, sitting real comfortable, talking about like they in their living room. They ain't preaching no way. Don't you know them folk ain't preaching the word of God? People need to tell you how God is. Well, amen. They need to tell you what God is pleased with and what he's not pleased with. They ain't going to tell you that today. Only thing they're going to tell you is how to give money. How you need to plant some seeds. Get some money. Get out of debt. That's all they're going to preach to you. They ain't going to say nothing about what God desires. How God is pleased with the way you dress. I mean, after all, he got to come in this body and live. God don't want to be off in somebody, praise the Lord, in abomination. Brother, they got all these old preachers on. That's God that already said it was an abomination. Now, why is God going to get off in somebody and walk around with them? God not going to do it. Somebody fooling themselves. God is not going to get in nobody and walk around with them smoking, drinking, and doing many other things. They don't want to preach the word no more. God ain't pleased with our God as a spirit. Yeah, women now to wear a dress. Because that's the way God, does, that's the way it fixed for a woman. Wear a dress. God didn't tell, he said, abomination for her to be like a man. Isn't that right? That's exactly what he said. It's an abomination. Oh, but they sitting in God's house and a lot of preachers going to bust hell. And hell going to hold them. I make mean, it say amen. 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 You got to have the whole arm of God. When the Lord saves you, the devil gets mad. Yes, amen. amen. When, the, when the Lord do something for anybody, the devil get angry. Yes, Praise the Lord. Amen. What you got to be careful about is not allow the enemy to use you. Yes, Isn't that right? Yes, you can't become an instrument of unrighteousness. Yes, Praise the Lord. Amen. When you become an instrument of unrighteousness, then praise the Lord. The scriptures say, Praise the Lord, whosoever you yield your members to, right. whom servant ye are. Right. So you don't want to lend nothing to the devil. Yeah. How many can say amen? amen. You don't want to give him your hand, your feet, your eyes, your mouth, nothing. nothing. Praise the Lord. Your whole body belong to God. Yeah. Amen. That's scripture. Amen. Our whole body belong to God. Amen. God made us for his own pleasure. Right. For he created us for his own will and pleasure. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Makes no difference about our choices we make. Right. Make no difference about what we want. The Lord made us for his pleasure. Amen. Isn't that right? That's right? His pleasure is for us to serve him. That's right. Amen. And not to, amen. amen, yield to things that, amen, that's not like the Lord would have it to be. Amen. amen. Jesus said, yield not to temptation. Not. Praise the Lord. If you think the devil not going to bring you something, then look out. Amen. If you don't think he's bringing something, then something doesn't happen to you. Praise the Lord. You're the first one he's coming to. Right. Amen. Devil don't bring ugly presents, he bring good presents. That's right. That's right. 
Well, a lot of people think, oh, the devil's going to bring you some bad stuff. No, he's not. He ain't bringing you nothing in no package that look bad. It's going to look good. Well, amen. Take this. He going to offer it. He going to give it to you. He going to offer it to you. Well, amen. You got to know him when he walk in. Amen. He come dressed up, fixed up, made up. Amen. You got to know him when you see him. Friend, you got to call a shot like it is. I make it say, man. Shots a shot. Isn't that right? Don't make no difference. You got to call it like it comes. Praise the Lord. If it ain't right, it ain't right. Amen. When the devil bring it, it may look good at first. But the end thereof, you'll know. You see, something wrong with this package. Something wrong with the present. Something wrong with it. Amen. The enemy will bring, he don't bring ugly stuff. You got good, you know, you're fooling yourself. You think the world, the devil going to offer you something that ain't worth nothing. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He's going to offer you something that's, that's worth something. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he come to church. Well, amen. Satan come to church. Don't think he don't come to church. He come. Amen. It's Job in the Bible. And Job, is say, when sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, say, huh? The devil came also. And God says, Satan, whence comest thou? He came. When they came to present themselves before the Lord, he showed up too. See, a lot of people think the devil is just a character, just, just you know, all he deal in is stuff that's just, you know, blowing up stuff. And I'm telling you, he's deeper than that. See, the preacher's here to expose him. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. My job is, just, is to expose the devil. To preach the word and expose him. And the watchman on the wall let you know. When he coming your way, or if he done already dropped in, right. I make it say, man. But if you ain't hearing what, if you ain't hearing the preacher, guess what? Right. He be sitting beside you. Right. Right. Well, amen. Right. Well, amen. Right. He will show up. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you know, Satan came from heaven. Amen. He didn't come from the earth. Amen. He wasn't down here. Right. He came from heaven. He was an archangel. He was over the praise, worship of God. That's the reason why he liked coming to church. Where the saints of God. He liked to come where the, huh, where the real thing is. Huh? Oh, sure. He'd get all of them. He's going he gonna to he get all the eggs he can collect. But he loved the real thing. Because he want to try to mess it up if he can. How many can say amen? amen. Yes, sir. He comes to church. Huh? He was not from this world. No. Satan was cast out down here. Amen. He was not from here. He did so bad. He lied. He accused. All, I mean, it was just an ongoing thing. Continually. Can you imagine someone so powerful? Now, a lot of people wonder why. How was he able to do it? Because he was so powerful. From the beginning, he was an archangel like Gabriel and Michael. See, Gabriel is the chief messenger. Michael is the chief war angel. Praise God, Lucifer was his name. Before he was cast out. Before he became Satan and devil. He was Lucifer. He was huh, the son of the morning. That's what it means. He was over the praise and worship. He was the high, brother, he was over the high praise of God. That's why he know how to entrench himself down off in this thing, brother. Being to act just like us sometimes. And you can't tell the real thing from the fake thing if you don't walk right. You don't walk up right, you don't never know, brother. First thing, people have to get filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You ain't going to know that you ain't going to be able to identify the real thing. Uh -huh. The only thing show the devil up is the word of God. Amen. That's why he don't like it. Right. It exposes him for what he really is. He can't handle the word. That's why I say take the whole arm of God. And, brother, you got to take the sword of the spirit, which is the word. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Well, you got to defeat him with it. You can have the word or put him running. He don't like the word of God. You can rub, you can play. He'll play with you all day long, long as you don't tell him nothing. Pray the Lord. Huh? Pray the Lord. You, have a, amen. you ever had a dog in your yard? Your neighbor dog come over and you just play with him? Right there, just lay around like they, he belonged to you. So many times folks will think he your dog. He ain't none of yours. You know, that ain't my dog. This is mine right here. He belonged to them next door. That's where the devil, devil, they lay around and play. 
You don't, you don't put that word on him. He'll just lay around just like he belongs to you. Right. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yes, he will. Amen. You got to put the word on him. Amen. But you got you to gotta know it's him. Yes, right. You got to know it's him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You got to know it's him. Amen. The Lord is so good. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, we thank the Lord tonight. I want to say first, give honor to God. To, all, to the conductor, to all the saints of God. Amen. We thank the Lord for each and every one. Yeah. Thank the Lord for, amen, the ministers, and to minister wise, Sister Hill, and for each and every, all of the musicians. Uh -huh. Brother Lester, bless, bless the Lord, say him. How many can say amen? Yeah. Praise the Lord. You know, coming to the Lord's house is where you, you know, everybody, let me say, you know, it's like, I'm going to just tell you, you know, the truth is how to be preached. You know, to learn holiness, you got to be where holiness is taught. You know what? You know, you have to, you have to, that's a choice everybody has to make for themselves. Right. Isn't that right? Amen. Amen. Everybody's not teaching holiness. Right. And there's some folk got the name holiness on the outside of their building. Brother, I wouldn't be associated with them. Right. Praise the Lord for cause of what's going on on the inside the building. Amen. Brother, there's some stuff going on in supposed to be, and I say they're bringing God's name, I mean, to an all time low. Amen. And a lot of people are so ashamed of holding now, they only want to put it on the sign. Amen. But you know what? I am not ashamed. Because I know what holiness really is. It ain't about a boxer. It ain't no boxer rattlesnake. Don't you know they associate rattlesnake handling with holiness, folks? That's a shame, brother. We mean we done drop this low? My, it ain't nothing but the devil is trying to destroy what we're trying to do. And he'll use everything. God is a holy God. And he said, be holy. For I, the Lord, your God, am holy. I'm not holy because... I got a sign out there. I'm holy because I live the life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Read Romans one and one and read Romans one through, I believe it's three. One through four. Romans one, one through four. Read that for me. I want to show you why we have to be holy. God said he was holy. Am I right? God, God said he was a holy God. But you know, a lot of people don't realize Jesus was a holy man. Yes, sir. He wasn't no, let me say this, he wasn't no Taliban running around blowing up some, sticking people with swords and killing folk and all and bringing wrath up on people. He wasn't doing that like, like you see a lot of folk doing over there. That's why I know Jesus is the right one. Now Jesus came from the same place some of these folk are coming from. And he is the only one we should serve. He is the son of God. Read, sisters. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, Uh huh. Which he had promised the form by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his son Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, and declared to be the Son of God with power according to the Spirit of holiness. Holy right there. Declared to be the Son of God with power according to the Spirit of what? Holiness. Thank you. The spirit of holiness. That's what I got tonight. Amen. Amen. That's what you got if the Lord saved you. So be that the Lord feel you. That's what you got. We have to walk like Jesus walked. Isn't that right? We can't live like we want to anymore. Amen. The scriptures say we're no more our own. We've been bought with a price. I don't want to do what I want to do. And the Lord saved me. I gave up what I wanted to do. Amen. We can't do what we want to do. Can't live like you want to live. Am I right? Amen. Well, amen. Amen, Huh? Amen. I can't do what I used to do. I've been bought with a price. I'm no more my own. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can't do what you used to do. Huh? Sometimes we think we grown, you know. I'm wrong. Well, you may be. That's all right. You know, I'm not trying to deny. I'm not trying to know nobody from being grown. I'm not saying nobody in here ain't grown. You grown, you are grown. But at the same time, you can make a grown man mistake. You can make a grown woman mistake. Am I right? Well, amen. People is making them every day. How many can say amen? You can make, I can make, huh? If I don't follow with the Lord, I'll make a grown person mistake. It's just that simple, amen? 
Praise the Lord. Look behind the curtain to the, look at that. Declared to be the Son of God with power. See there? I see him. I know he's the right one. Amen. Huh, what he did, he's still doing it. Amen. He's still healing people of heart trouble, yes, cancer. Yes, Make no difference how many, what kind of disease you got. Amen. When you bring it to him, he'll heal you of it. Amen. Am I right? But a lot of people don't realize he wants something. Right. He wants you to serve him. Amen. He don't just heal you so you can go back out and live like the devil. Right. Do what you want to do. That's why I'm saying you can't do what you want to do. Right. I can't live like I want to live no more. Amen. Huh? I made choices in the world when I wasn't married. And before I got saved, I made a lot of bad choices. Huh? When I thank the Lord, I found Jesus in time. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm glad he found me in time. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm glad he found me in time. You know why? Because I was on a pathway of destruction. Amen. Just like anybody else. Praise the Lord. Fearful that you're going to die somewhere and you don't want to. And things like that. You know, you could, somebody could, huh? This, and the way things ain't going now, folks driving by shooting folks. They don't care. They shoot people while they're on the highway. Amen. Amen. You don't know who you're going to run into on the highway now. Praise the Lord. It's just saying the devil is on a rampage. But you see, the devil didn't come from this earth. He came from heaven. He was over the high praise worship of God. And brother, he was an archangel, and he was cast out, and a third of heaven was cast out with him. Okay, we're going to read Revelation 12. I want to read a little of that for you. The 12th chapter. I may jump back and forth a little bit tonight, so have the Lord lead me, y'all pray. The Lord is good. He was declared to be the Son of God with power by the Spirit of Holy. Don't you know we got to keep holiness in front of us all the time? If we don't keep holiness in our forefront, the world not going to see us right. The world not going to see you right when you don't live right. If you don't keep holiness in front of you, the world going to put a fang on you. and going to say, I thought you said. You told me you. Honey, ain't you supposed to be? Huh? We'll never draw our folk. Messing up. No, we not. You ain't going to draw nobody messing up. That's right. They're going to say, you ain't doing it. Why should I get over there and mess up with you? That's right. That's true. Uh-oh. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. 12. Revelation 12. I want to read just a little of this. Now, I ain't gonna, may not go through the whole thing. But I want to read just a little bit. Say then, there appeared a great sign, a wonder in heaven. A woman clothed, clothed with the sun. And the moon under her feet. And upon her head a crown of twelve stars. God have adorned his church with glory, with honor, with righteousness. And with beauty. Amen. And we are Jews and Gentiles. Amen. We are connected. Right. And a lot of people don't want to be connected with us. But Jews and Gentiles are connected. Amen. When we serve the Lord. Like the Lord say serve him. Amen. 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 And upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried travailing in birth. And pain to be delivered. You see the church is styled as a woman. See, a church, when the church, when souls are being saved, that's like a woman bringing forth children. That's right. The church is styled as a woman that's right. that travail, that bring forth children. Right. Souls being saved is just like children being birthed. How many can say amen? amen. We're be, huh, born into the kingdom of God. Amen. amen. That's what it's supposed to be. That's right. That's right. When souls, when, when, when a person meets the condition, God will save them. That's right. And baptized with the Holy Ghost. Am I right? Amen. That's just like a woman bringing forth the church. Is, that's why I, the church is styled as a woman. Amen. 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 It said, and there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. He wasn't little. Say great. Red dragon. Having seven heads. Ten horns. And seven crowns upon his head. Now, you know, we can go into these crowns and 
and all of this. And you go over to Revelation 13, 14, and on down, you'll, you'll find the same dragon. How many can say amen? amen. We know what he represents, amen. amen. Said, and his tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven. That's angels. Uh -huh. Stars of heaven. The stars represent angels. The stars of heaven. He drew a third. 33%. That's a great number. Of heaven. That's a great number. Brother, we don't know how many. See, Satan wasn't, Lucifer wasn't cast out by himself. He got some help when he come. He was cast out and his angel was cast out with him. He got a lot of help. Amen. That's why it takes the spirit of the Lord, the Holy Ghost, to keep us walking upright. Because you got demons of all kinds and all types Amen. nagging and pulling at you. Right. Huh? Amen. You got all kind of demons. That, that they'll just give themselves to whatever you like right. to defeat you. How many say? Yes, they will. Amen. They'll give themselves to whatever you like to defeat you. Amen. And brother, it don't look like defeat, but down the road, it'll be defeat. Amen. That's right. Amen. The devil don't care what length he go through. It'll pull you back into the world. Because that's his aim, is to pull you back in there, tie you back up in bondage, and make you his slave. So you can perish with him. Because he don't want to die and go, he don't want to go to hell by himself. See, hell was made for the devil and his angels, but men and women is going there because they won't obey God. God didn't make hell for man. He made it for Satan. Amen. But men and women are going there because they refuse to do what God said. Amen. 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 He drew a third part of the stars of heaven. And did cast them down to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Now this is three, this is two or threefold prophecy. Because you got in, in, in the book of Revelation, you got past prophecy, you got future prophecy, and you also got present tense prophecy. You deal with threefold prophecy when you start going into the book of Revelation. A lot of people get lost when they start trying to read it and confused because they don't understand what they read. Because it takes the Spirit of God to divide to the, to write a divide what's in this. Because it is given of the Spirit. Isn't that right? Amen. Amen. Her child. Now you notice Jesus, when he was born, Herod tried to destroy yes. the Son of God, didn't he? Yes. He was looking for him, wasn't he? Yes. And when he heard about the wise men, he, he asked for them to come. And, he, and then when they came, he said, well, when you find him, uh, 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 come back and let me know so I can come and worship him also. But he didn't want to worship him because he had already, brother, he, he didn't want to worship him. He wanted to, he wanted to destroy him. So when the wise of God spoke to the wise men and told them not to go back to him. Uh -huh. And they went out another different, they went, God told them to go another way. Right. And brother, when he realized he had been mocked, he, brother, he got angry. Yes, he and so he determined the time, he determined the time from the time he spoke with the wise men up until the time that he heard about Christ being born. He destroyed the boy every male child uh -huh. from, I mean, from up from two years old and down. Trying to make sure he get to the right one. This is, this is why you read what you're reading now. He tried to destroy her child. Yes, he did. The devil wanted to destroy Jesus. Because he know why he came into the world. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God for him. As soon as it was born. Look at that. And, and she brought forth a man child who was to rule the world. The nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up under God and to his throne. And, and he was delivered from Because God sent him into Egypt. Right. Told Joseph, warn him in a dream. Say, take, take, take Mary and her son. Take them into Egypt. Right. Take, the, take them into Egypt. And they went and stayed until God That's told them to come back. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. Not only that, this is spiritual. Yes, it is. Amen. It's also spiritual. Mm -hmm. Said, and the woman fled into the wilderness. Where she has a place prepared of God that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score day. And we know that the church, amen, is going to be delivered amen. out of tribulation. Uh -huh. yes, sir. It ain't saying we're not going to have tribulation. 
We're not saying we're not going to have persecution, but the churches, everybody is not going to be destroyed. Because Jesus is going to come back. And he is going, praise the Lord, the church is going to be delivered. Amen. Amen. Because the devil is trying to destroy every child of God. That anybody that saved, Satan, is per, his whole purpose is to make war with you. Amen. I'm going to say amen. It's to make war with you. That's what he's trying to do now. This is why all the laws, we're getting all the laws that we see. Huh? I was talking with Brother Ware today before he left. And he was telling me about an uh, early show program he saw on the news one morning. Praise the Lord. And how did they got these chips prepared by the identification. Some of you all know about it. Amen. Already in the plan. See, a lot of people said years ago, we ain't going to be here, honey. We ain't going to face none of that. They already got it. Amen. And, and you know what? The man who was talking to some of them, it was a family on there that already had it put under their skin. And they were scanning them. And, brother, everything, all the information about them came up from a chip the size of a flint. Like a little bitty piece of flint. That small. Amen. They had two different types, and they had them under the, right under the skin. And you know what, folks are sitting back saying, "Honey, we ain't going through that." And guess what? I'm gonna tell you the truth tonight. We're gonna be here Amen. until the Lord come back. We're gonna be here, Amen. and we're gonna see a whole lot of this by not being able to buy or sell. Don't you know that's pointed right at us? Amen. You won't be able to buy or sell except you had a mark. And don't you know somebody, guess what this man said? Well, a lot of religious people is going to say this is the mark of the beast. And guess what? He didn't deny it. He didn't deny that it wasn't. Because they know what they're doing. They know religious people that's really saved not going to accept it. But it's, a, it's just like, it's a, like a death threat. You can't, you can't buy nothing and you can't sell nothing except you got my name, number, and mark. That's right. And if you ain't got it, guess what? You're going to die. Amen. That's, right. amen. That's the Lord intervene. Right. How many can say amen? amen? Unless the Lord intervene, you will perish. Right. Think about it. If you can't buy or sell nothing, guess what? Buying and selling, brother, is the fuel of the, is the, fuel of the economy. Amen. That's the fuel that makes the economy buying and selling. Amen. Why do you think they, they are constantly looking at the stock market? Well, we got a bear today. Well, we got a bull today. Huh? Praise the Lord. I mean, all this. They looking at all this. Uh -huh. They constantly watching the stock market. A bull market is a good market. Bear coming, he tear the house up. If you don't believe it, let him in. <laughs> you turn over everything in there looking for something. His nose will be in everything. Amen. He'll rip your house to shreds. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's why they call it a bear mark. And a bull mark. But you know what? The Lord is good. He is not. Guess what? You don't have to worry about leaving here before your time. Whatever time the Lord appointed us to leave, that's the time we're going to leave. Amen. Amen. And if it ain't given to you to, to, uh, to be persecuted, don't worry about it. It won't happen to you. But well, some of us are going to go through. Jesus said, except the tribulation of those days be shortened, there should be no flesh saved. Guess what? He's going to shorten the days. He said, for the elect's sake, I'm going to shorten the days. Because he know, he know that the enemy's plan is to destroy every soul on earth. That's what he's after. Praise the Lord. Satan has no mercy. And that's sad. He has no mercy. He believe it. He is not a human being. That's why you can't. That's why, that's why we have to do what God say. He is not human. He is not from this world. Praise the Lord. The only thing going to work on him is the word. The word of God cuts him, hurts him, makes him run. Defeats his purpose, his plan. It blows up his plan. That's what you got to do. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither, there, neither was there a place found anymore in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. 
he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him he had followers just like a campaign he was being supported just like a campaign well uh, you know back here in the, in the mayor mayor election you know we had two people that was wanting to be the mayor of the city of Dallas I mean remember what I'm saying only one of them became the mayor in that right it's just like a campaign the devil set out a campaign against God don't you know that was fool he deceived all the other angels because he didn't want to go by himself they were cast out and he was cast out too now he's down here guess what he's down here doing the same thing same thing he ain't gonna stop he feel like he had an advantage because who he is but you see when you get the Holy Ghost that brings fear to him that's the reason why he works so hard to get you to try not to do what God say do he works double time trying to keep you not doing what God say oh no I ain't got to do that I don't have to do this the devil will make up all kind of stuff for you not to do if you brother and people don't realize whatever God said that's what we need to do if God said it is right huh? God didn't tell no lie if God said it is right he got tricks for us <laughs> well amen he got tricks for you but you got to have a whole arm on. Isn't that what the words say? So you take under you the whole arm of God. Praise the Lord. Philippians. I want to turn that right quick. Uh, Philippians. Two. Ephesians 16 <laughs> Satan will fight you with things especially the doctrine that God set for the church see there's doctrine God set for the you know doctrine is teaching and we have to follow that it's it's just like if the Lord stayed here see when you read in these epistles remember Jesus said I'm gonna have to go away didn't he say that he said, if I don't go, the comforter won't come, which is the Holy Ghost. Now, the, he said, now, when he come, he's going to bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have what? Taught you. And that's what he told his disciples, didn't he? Now, after the Holy Ghost came and Jesus had left and the Holy Ghost came, praise the Lord, this is why we find the epistles. This is not an accident. It ain't something some man just decided to do. This came from the Lord himself. Amen. Because Jesus said when he come, he's going to bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have taught you. And we find it in the epistles. Beginning with the book of Acts. Isn't that right? We find it on through Acts. And on down we find the epistles. God saving Paul. Paul was an Paul was, was a instrument of, of, of righteousness after God saved him. God used this man mightily. Amen. To bring God had a purpose for him. Amen. Pray love simply because Paul was educated in the law and he knew his way uh -huh. through the courts. So he was he was an instrument in helping the church establish what we have today. How many can say amen? amen? And I'm talking about under the under the New Testament. Uh -huh. Paul was one of the one of the greatest of all the disciples, yes, and he was not of the twelve. No, he wasn't. Amen. Isn't that something? Amen. He was not of the twelve, but he had the same power and spirit everybody else had. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Amen. Six and ten, Ephesians said, "Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil." The devil done went wow. Uh -huh. Yes, he have. Uh -huh. Little kids in the yard. Right. Can't play in the yard. Okay. Devil done went wild. He's killing little children, kidnapping them. Amen. All kinds of stuff. Right. Huh? Uh -huh. 
Never, never, and they never heard a brother the pedophilia on a, in a on time, all time high in some of these churches where folk need to get saved. Uh -huh. That's right. Some folk connected with churches, right. pedophile, so the devil. Amen. 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 Children can't even go out like we used to go out. Amen. Some of us in here know how we used to go out and play. Amen. Now you got to really watch now. Amen. Oh no, I can't let you go out there, honey. You can't go no further than where I can see you. That's right. It ain't like it used to be. We're in an evil day. Oh, yeah. huh? He said, put on a whole armor. He said, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand with that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your lawns girt about with the truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. See, that's what you got to have first. You gotta have the truth. Amen. Have your lawns girt with the truth yeah. and the breastplate of rice. See, when you get that, then you can move on. That's right. Isn't that right? Amen. You say, having done all to stand, stand there for having your amen. He said, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yeah. Above all, taking the shield of faith. The shield of faith will keep you. Praying, fasting, fighting, huh? The shield. The shield goes up like this. When the devil swing at you, you got a shield. Ping, that's all you're going to hear is metal. Ping. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Huh? He ain't hit nothing. He hit the shield. Ping. He's swinging at you, but he's not hitting you. The shield of faith. So, oh Lord, thank you. Huh? Devil hit you with something. Uh oh, I'm going to hit you with it. Knock you down. Uh -huh. Lay hands. Pray. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Heal my body. Yeah. Faith call go in operation. That's right. God move. God heal you so miraculous. People, you don't even know when it left. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Isn't that right? Amen. God heal you sometimes so miraculous that whatever you had, leave. That's right. I know it happened to me. Amen. Huh? I could stand here and tell you tonight some thing that was going on. I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. I didn't even tell my wife. But guess what? God moved. Yeah. Well, amen. amen. I'm telling you he moved. Because you got to have a shield of faith. The devil will swing at you. What? Brother, the devil, is huh, he's your enemy. I mean, he'll take shots at you. He's coming after you. Amen. Huh? If you don't put on the shield of faith, the devil will amen. hit you and knock you crazy. Huh? Silly and just keep kicking you. And, and all his devils will come and jump on you. He don't, he don't care. Get you down, brother. That's all he wants. Right. Huh? That's right. Just like a little posse. Huh? When you fall, that's it. That's all I'm running over there. That's right. Uh-huh. Huh? Right. Shield of faith. King. Yeah. See, when you faith up, king, you can still see it. Because you got your feet planted. Yeah. Amen. Am I right? right? When you knock you down, you don't know what's going on. You down there trying to find out. Let me get up. Huh? Uh -huh. That's right. Take somebody to get knocked down, brother. First thing they trying to do is get up. That's right. That's right. Amen. Oh yes, sir. Shield of faith. <laughs> Wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. The helmet of salvation. Amen. You got to have a helmet of salvation on. Amen. Being saved. <laughs> See that, hey man, if you ain't saved, you ain't gonna stay. <laughs> I make it say that. You gotta be saved. The helmet of salvation. In other words, I'm saved. I'm sanctified. See, I can go through when I'm saved and sanctified. I'm making do what the devil try to inflict on me. I can go through when I'm sanctified. When the Lord done saved me. The helmet of salvation. You got the helmet of salvation on, you can go through. You ain't gonna go crazy, you're going through. How many can say amen? You ain't gonna lose your mind, you're going through. That's what the Lord wants us to do. Am I right? Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, 
Well, amen. amen. The Lord wants us to go through. The helmet of salvation will take us through. Guess what? He'll be hitting you, but it won't, you won't feel it because the helmet is on. Right. You put a helmet on, you can take a whole lot of stuff. Right. Why do you think them football players wear helmets? Some of them still get knocked out out there on their physical stuff, am I right? right. But the spiritual, it ain't like that. Right. Devil not going to knock you out when you got the helmet on. Amen. The helmet of salvation not going to happen. Right. It may happen to a football player, but it ain't going to happen to you. Because right. when he run at you, he's going to bounce right off. Because he can't touch you. No, he cannot. Now, if you get out of the safety zone, he'll do a lot of stuff. You got to make sure you're in the safety zone. That's why we got to obey. 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 Follow obedience. You're in the safety zone when you follow obedience. But when you stepped out of, you don't stepped out of the rim of the ark of safety, anything can happen. Praise the Lord. Him and the salvation and the sword of the spirit. That's the word of God. Amen. Isn't that right? The sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. This is the word of God right here. Word of God. That's the sword of the spirit. Huh? I ain't got to say it. I'm going to speak it. See, this is where we lose out. We don't tell the devil. Get behind me, Satan. Right. We don't tell him that. Right. You can't go up and. Devil, leave me alone. Right. Don't work like that. Amen. See, you got to be. You got to be up. You got to know who you are. Amen. You got to know you're a child of the King. Right. So you got to be just like I'm gonna tell you, just like the angels in the heaven say, Satan, get thee behind me. That's isn't that right? Ain't that what Michael told him? The devil came. They were burying the body of Moses. And brother, here come the devil. Don't try to challenge them. And uh, uh, No, y'all ain't even. Brother, they say, get thee behind me, Satan. He rebuked and said, Lord, rebuke thee. That's what you got to tell him. You don't, don't let him. Don't hold no conversation with him. Isn't that right? You don't have to hold a conversation with the devil. Tell him he's alive. I say, say the Lord rebuke thee. Get you behind me. That's what Jesus told him. Amen. Jesus told him the same thing. But y'all, if you're afraid, guess what? Uh -huh. Come on. You ain't going to be a very good soldier. Right. You can't have fear. Right. Fear is torment. Satan, huh? Loose him. Devil, you're alive. Uh -huh. With them old ones say, loose him, Satan. Yeah. Tell that devil to loose him in a minute. Say, loose him, Satan. The devil, get him leave. Loose him. That's what they tell him. Brother, they rebuke the whole service. They can feel that devil playing around and say, Loose him, Satan. Yes, sir. Amen. Oh, well, praise God. Well, amen. amen. Devil be playing around out there in them pews, brother. They get up, Loose him, Satan. Well, I'm going to tell you. That'll bring the victory, too. Amen. That devil jump out of here. They didn't want the devil messing with testimony, sir. Amen. They rebuked the devil and said, Satan, you're alive. The Lord rebuked you. Lose him. Yes, said, we're going to praise God today. <laughs> Lose him. We're going to praise God today. Amen. Get up and get out of here. That's why he said, get on your feet and put your foot on his head. Amen. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. And it work every time. Yeah. The devil will try to bind the service. He don't want you to praise God. <laughs> praise the Lord. He don't want you praising God. He'll get you in yourself, though. He'll put you in yourself, and you won't hear nothing I'm saying. You got to hear what I'm saying. What I'm saying is going to save your life and your soul. It's going to save you. It's going to keep you going on the right path, on the pathway of righteousness. But if you don't hear me, guess what? You'll be ready for destruction and not even know. Right. Praying always with the prayer, huh? Praying always with all prayer, supplication in the spirit, and watching down too with all perseverance. Perseverance. That means you got to dig in sometimes. Persevere. Sometimes it ain't always easy. When you persevere, that means things is holding you, trying to stop you. But you're going anyway. No, I just ain't trying to slow me down, but I'm going forward. I'm going to press my way. 
I'm pressing my way. I ain't going to sit at home. I'm going to press my way to the house of God. Sometimes I'm sick in my body, but I'm going to get up and press my way to the house of the Lord. I mean, my children, sometimes I may not get to feed them what I want to give them because I get home late, but I'm going to press my way to the house of God. God is going to fix this thing one day. I'm not going to have to, amen, get in here and fix bologna sandwiches all my life. Someday things going to work out. Yes, sir. Things going to work out for me after a while. Bring all huh? Sometimes you get home, kids, man, eat them a little sandwich. You might want to fix them a meal. But guess what? You, because it's church night, you got to press on. So I tell you what, when we get back, I'm going to lay it out for y'all. <laughs> so you got to be able to improvise. But you got to put God first. You can't make him laugh. You can't say, oh, well, I give up. Well, praise God, what's the use? Oh, well, you done passed out now. Can't be that way. How many know what I'm saying? You got to press on. I'm going to press my way. That's why I say persevere. You got to press past everything. Make no difference what nobody saying to you. Mama can't tell me that this way ain't right. Daddy can't tell me this way ain't right. Amen, brother and uncle and auntie and grandmama and everybody. When you got your mind made up, God will stand for you. When your mind is made up. He'll stand for, but guess what? You're going to lose. You let the devil play in your business. You're going to lose. Ain't nobody going to believe nothing. Because when you show me first, then I'll do it when you show me. Well, amen. They're going to say, you show me where you at is right. Then I'll get right. You show me first, but you know what they're telling you? Get right. <laughs> that's what they're telling you. They're telling you to get right. And that's bad when somebody ain't saying, telling you, you ain't right. But it may need to happen, so sometimes you may have to wake up, realize where you are. So, well, wait a minute, something ain't right here. If somebody saying, telling me I ain't right, then there's something wrong. Well, amen. Praise the Lord. God is real. You don't want us to, huh? Jesus said, me and all to always pray and not faint. God don't want us passing out. To the point of where we spiritually done gave up. Spiritually, we done quit. Oh, help me. Praise the Lord. Lord, that's not the will of the Lord. Huh? Praise the Lord. Obedience is the key to hold this whole thing. Am I right? Obedience. Huh? Well, amen. Don't you know if you don't obey, it goes from, it's just like the chain of command. And you know, we think because we're living in 2000, I ain't got to do what they tell me. Honey, I ain't got to follow that preacher. Don't you know the gospel hasn't changed? The gospel won't change. 